Katika ibada hii I want to share on the scene of playlessness. Nataka kuongea juu ya dhambi ya kukosa kuomba. The greatest scene that is in the church today is not the scene of immorality. It is not the scene of fornication. The greatest scene in the church is the scene of playlessness. If we read our Bibles in the book of 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 20, do not be afraid, Samuel replied, you have done all this evil, yet do not turn away from the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. Do not turn away after useless idols. They can do you no good, nor can they rescue you because they are useless. For the sake of his great name, the Lord will not reject his people because the Lord was pleased to make you his own. Verse 23, as for me, far be it from me that I should sin against the Lord by failing to pray for you. And I will teach you the way that is good and light. Samuel said, consider me a sinner if I don't pray for you. Consider me a sinner if I don't pray for you. If I don't pray for Israel, I have an obligation to pray for you. We have an obligation as believers to pray for the nation, to pray for our families, to pray for the work of the ministry. We have an obligation. Jeremiah 29 and verse 7. Mungu akawaambia Israel, they were in exile. Lakini akawaambia, you must pray for the city where I have taken you into exile. Because when the city prospers, you prosper. When the city is having peace, you will have peace. Maybe walikuwa anasema, we are not supposed to pray for this city, we are here in exile. But God told them, you must pray. You have an obligation to pray for the city. Because if the city prospers, you are going to prosper. If the city is going to have peace, you will have peace. The greatest sin we have today in the church is a sin of prayerlessness. Yesu wakawambia wanafunzi wake, si muombe, musianguke katika majaribu. Kwa nini tuko na dhambi siku ya leo? Ni kwa sababu ya lack of prayer. Prayerlessness inafanya watu wengi sasa hawawezi kusimama kwa wevi ya thambi. Hawawezi kusimama kwa wevi ya pia pressure. Because of lack of prayer. Ukiangalia hata katika serikali, kuna mambo huwa ya nakuwa judged very harshly. Kwa sababu ya outcome yake. Tuseme kama watu wala wanadina na dawa za kulevia. Kwa nini ziko na judgment kubwa hata katika serikali? Ni kwa sababu ya vile zina affect maisha ya watu wanazo zitumia. Serikali inatumia pesa nyingi kulekebisha watu ambao wameadhiriwa na zile dawa. Kwa hivyo ukishikwa na dawa, it is not about the issue ya hizo dawa, lakini outcome ambazo huwa zinaleta. Ningetaka ufikirie mambo ambayo hutokea wakati kanisa haliombi. You know, when, I, when we say about the sin of prayerlessness, watu wengi hawaoni kama kukosa kuomba ni dhambi. But nataka uangalie the outcome. What happens when the church is not praying? Wanafunzi wa Yesu wakauliza Yesu, tulipanda begu nzuri. Hizi begu mbaya zilitoka wapi? Yesu wakawambia, wakati muliporara, adui alipata nafasi ya kupanda begu mbaya. That means when the church is sleeping, the enemy gets an opportunity ya kupanda begubaya katika jamii, katika muji, katika taifa. Kuna mambo tunayaona leo katika taifa la Kenya, ambayo kama tungeomba, tungeangoa, kabla hayaja tokea. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Watu wengi wakikuambia, watakuambia, almost everything that happens in the nation, walikuwa wameona. Lakini tulifanya nini baada ya kuona? Hatukuomba itupasavyo. 
ndio tuzuilie kile ambacho Mungu alikuwa ametuonyesha that means kukosa kuomba ndio kunafanya kuwe na ukahaba mwingi ukiona ukahaba unaongezeka na kuru it is lack of prayer ukiona kaa jacking imeongezeka na kuru it is lack of prayer Mungu aliwaambia ombeeni muji kwa sababu mkiomba muji uwe na amani mtakuwa na amani kama kanisa ingeomba vile inavyopaswa kuomba kuna shida ziko katika taifa hili ambazo hatungeziona ambazo adui hangepata nafasi ya kuzipanda kama kanisa lingeomba vile linapaswa kuomba kwa hivyo Samueli akajua kukosa kuombea Israeli kwangu ni dhambi praise the name of the living god hallelujah when you see the evils that is happening all around us you are the cause because of your prayerlessness if you prayed as you ought to pray the things we are seeing them in our families in our government in our city in our nation hatungeziona but because of lack of prayer the enemy is getting an opportunity to plant every evil seed may god cause the church to wake up before the worst happens to the nation there are two important things in prayer the length of your prayer time and the depth of your prayer time yesu akasema couldn't you wait with me only for one hour hamungeweza ku kustahimili katika mahali pa maombi kwa risali moja one hour the length how long can you be able to pray Jesus could be able to pray a whole night alone. Angewachana na wanafunzi, anaenda mlimani the whole night. Sio kesha. Hapana, mlimani peke yake. Angeamka asubuhi mapema, anaenda kuomba. The length of prayer. How long can you be able to pray? Yesu aliambia wanafunzi, one hour is only a short time in prayer. Kwa nini hamungeweza kuomba na mimi for one hour? The question is how many people can pray for one hour? Not even believers, even pastors, even bishops. How many can be able to pray for one hour? A day, one hour. Kanisa imegeuka sasa, kile tunataka sasa na kile tunahubiriwa ni messages nzuri ambazo zina excite our mind, our soul. Have you ever had somebody preaching good stuff but they are not able to touch your spirit? Wanaongea ujumbe mzuri. Wanaongea maneno mazuri. They are speaking a lot of reason and logic but it is not touching your spirit. Why? Because what we need more is the anointing of God. When they saw Jesus, he said, "Jesus, you are different." Wewe haufundishi kama mafarisayo na masadukayo. Haufundishi kama walimu wetu. Your teaching is coming with power and authority. Kuna uwezekano ufundishwe mambo mazuri, but there is no anointing to implement the teaching. A good teaching without the anointing to make it happen is useless. Praise the name of the living God. Yesu akawaambia, you diligently study the scriptures, but you refuse me. How will the scriptures help you without me? A good message without the anointing of God. A good message without the power of God cannot help you. Thank God people are doing more study to have good messages. But let me tell you good messages cannot be able to change people alone. We need the spirit of God. We need the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We need people who have spent time before the Lord like Moses. Praise the name of the living God. So that when he came before the children of Israel, he had to cover his face because the glory of God was upon him. The scene of prayerlessness is going to destroy this nation. If the church will not wake up and pray. We are having more and more sorcerers. 
One of the assignments ambayo wanawaisai walikuwa wamepatiwa ni kuharibu madhabahu mengine na wasikubalie mganga aishi ama mchawi. Leo hawezi kuenda kushika mganga ukamuua. But we can kill the anointing and their power in the spirit. We can pray and through our prayers we can root out every evil we are seeing in our nation and in our city. The reason your neighbor is a witch doctor is because of lack of prayerlessness. Hawa angeweza kukaa hapo kama kungekuwa na moto unaoendelea wa maombi. That is why your prayerlessness before God is a sin. The more you meet with the drunkards and prostitutes and robbers, it's because of your prayerlessness. Let me show you that in the book of Second Chronicles. The Bible says Second Chronicles chapter 15, the spirit of God came upon Azariah son of Oded. He went out to meet Asa and said to him, "Listen to me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you when you are with him." If you seek him he will be found by you but if you forsake him he will forsake you for a long time Israel was without the true god without a priest to teach and without the law but in their distress they turned to the lord the god of Israel and sought him and he was found by them verse 5 in those days it was not safe to travel about for all inhabitants of the land were in great turmoil One nation was being crushed by another and one city by another because God was troubling them with every kind of distress. You can see in verse 5 the Bible is saying very clearly in those days it was not safe to travel about for all the inhabitants of the land were in great turmoil. Hakukuwa na security. Angalia sasa mambo ambayo hatukuwa nayo miaka miaka 2 3 ambayo imekwisha. Hauko unaangalia ukiingia kwa supermarket? Hauko unaangalia ukiingia kwa hoteli? The Bible says in those days it was not safe to travel. One nation, a nation in the Bible represents a tribe. Huh? Sometimes when the Bible is speaking about a nation inasimamia kabila moja. Huh? Tuko na shida, tribalism is a big issue in our nation. Huh? Ona vile watu wanauana wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Hata kama tungesema shida inatoka nje, ona hata shida ndani yetu na katikati yetu. Mungu akamwambia, "Asa, mkitafuta Mungu ataonekana kwenu, lakini mkiacha Mungu, Mungu atawaacha. Na Mungu akiwaacha hamtakuwa na security. Mungu akiondoka anaitwa Jehovah Shalom. Yeye ndiye amani yetu." Yeye ndiye usalama wetu. Akiondoka. Bibi nasema walikuwa wanagongana kabila moja na lingine, walikuwa wanapigana kupigana. Hakukuwa na usalama, haungeweza kutembea kwa uhuru. The sin of prayerlessness. Watu wale wanakufa ni we unafanya wauawe. Kwa sababu kama kanisa lingeomba vile linapaswa kuomba vifo tunavyoviona havingeweza kufanyika. Lakini kwa sababu tumelala adui ako na opportunity ya kupanda kila begu baya anayotaka kupanda. And the worst is yet to happen. God is able to expose every evil. Bibi nasema ya kwamba ni Mungu huwa anasitisha vita. Yaani huwa anafanya watu wanaweka silaha chini. When we see God, watu wote walio na silaha, Mungu ako na uwezo wa kufanya wenye silaha wakatetemeka, wakaweka silaha chini na wakaacha kupigana. But the Bible says atakuwa tu pamoja nanyi wakati nyinyi wenyewe mko pamoja na yeye mnamtafuta, lakini mkiwaacha atawaacha. Bibi inasema Asa alichukua hatua akaelekeza watu kwa kumtafuta Mungu na kuacha miungu mingine na Bibi inasema ya kwamba inchi ikawa na amani kwa miaka arubaini. They enjoyed peace. If you can be able to connect ya kwamba we have been having a lot of peace. 
But there are things today we are seeing in the church. Ambazo watukua tunaziona. Kuna mambo wabayo ya nakuja ya ibu kanisani. Ambayo hatukua na ayo mbereni. And I believe the church is the thermometer of the world. Na diposa bibi nasema ya komba judgment will first begin in the house of God. Kwa nini mungu anasema nitaanza kuhukumu watu katika nyumba yangu? Na bibi nasema ya komba yule maraika wa kuharibu kisoma uh, katika itabu cha Ezekiel tisa alianza, aliambiwa aanze na wale wazee wanao kaa pare mbele. Viongozi. Kwa nini? Kwa nini mungu anasema judgment will first begin in the house of God? Because the house of God should take responsibility. The church should take responsibility when the church is not taking responsibility of the things that are happening in the nation. Judgment will begin in the house of God and judgment will begin with the leadership that is in the church. Because we as leaders, we are supposed to give direction. We are supposed to show people the way they should follow. The leadership in the church in this nation should arise and give church the right direction that the church may be able to take charge of the nation. The sin of prayerlessness. There are families that are suffering today because of our prayerlessness. Kuna shida siku ya leo zingine ziko katika jamii zetu. Ziko kwa watoto wetu. Lakini kama tungeomba vile tunapaswa kuomba, hazinge patikana. I feel bad. And I have decided to, 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 to preach this message, not because I'm licious than you, but to obey the call of God. I am grieved by blessedness that is in my life. Because every time I go before the Lord in prayer and I get a breakthrough, something tells me, if you could be doing this more and more, something great can be able to happen. But I don't find time. And that is one of the problems. Ukiangalia Vashti, katika kitabu cha Esther, alikatariwa na mfalme, kwa sababu wakati mfalme anamuhitaji, alikuwa kona shuguli sana na karamu ya wanawake. On the other side. Nae mungu wakasema, mufarme ya kasema, kama akiitwa hawezi kupatikana because she is too busy, wacha aondolewe. Na diyo Esther, akaweza kuchikua na fasi yake. Kuna watu wengi watakatariwa na mungu because they don't have time for God. They don't have time for God. Na kire huwa kinafanya tukose time for God is because the ministry is growing. The business is doing well. If we were not busy, kama, kama vashti hake kuwa na karamu ya wanawake, who sponsored that, 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 that ceremony, that, 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 that party? Sini mfanme alikuwa metoa pesa na, na vile vitu vilikuwa vinaitajika. Nani ya mekupatia iyo biyashara inakupatia shuguli? Ni mungu. Lakini huyo mungu wakikuitaji, you are too busy for him. Kwa hivyo mungu anakubariki, anakuinua, baada ya kuinuliwa, you are too busy for him. And it is a trap of the enemy. Shetani ya meona, diyo watu wengine ya wamalize, razima wa bariki na baraka kiwango furani. Diyo zile baraka, ziwa ondoe mahali pa maombi. And when they are not in the place of prayer, ata wamaliza pore pore, wataingia kwa zambi. And then, judgment will come upon them. When the enemy is removing you in the place of prayer, Hata kama ni baraka zimekuja. Ana kutafutia kukumaliza. The Bible says in James 5.17 that Elijah was a man of the same passion. That means he was 100% human. But he prayed and God heard his cry. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Alikuwa mtu wakawaida kama mimi na wewe. Elijah hakuna atimahali ya likuwa meinuliwa kawa mtu wa tofauti ya kawa maraika apana. Na bibi nasema hivyo kwa sababu kama tunaweza kuomba, kuna mabadiliko mungu anaweza kuleta katika taifa. Lakini unaona Elijah, the Bible says 
he prayed fervently. He prayed with the prayer. Yaani ya kuomba tu maombi, aliomba maombi ambayo yako na maombi ndani yake. Maombi yanayowaka moto. Maombi sio maombi tu, maombi yanadikuwa determine na length and depth. Ukiangalia ta Yesu wakati alipokuwa nauliza wa wanafunzi wake, hamungeweza kuomba na mimi lisari moja. Alienda mara ya kwanza, akarudi. Akawakuta wa melara. Akauliza hamungeomba na mimi lisari moja. Akaenda tena. Akarudi mara ya pili. The Bible says that the third time, he went further. And when he went further, that is when the Bible says, aliomba, akatoa jasho, ambayo ilikuwa matone ya damu paka malaika wakatokea wakamtia nguvu tofauti ya maombi ya kwanza na ya pili na ya tatu ilikuwa nini Elijah tunajua ndiyo mvua inyeshe aliomba mara saba yeye hakuomba mara tatu aliomba mara saba mara ya kwanza anatuma mtumishi wake angalia kama kuna wingu hakuna mara ya pili enda uangalie hakuna mara ya tatu mpaka akaweza kuomba wingu likatokea linalotoshana na mkono wa mtu Ni kitu gani alikuwa anafanya the depth of prayer? Ni kitu gani Yesu alikuwa anafanya akiomba mara ya kwanza, mara ya pili, mara ya tatu the depth of prayer. Many of us there is a depth of prayer we don't have. It is miserable to be in our churches because we are very shallow. Maombi naombwa juu juu. Hakuna depth. Who is going to pray like Hannah in our time? That God may deliver the nation. That God may deliver the families. Hannah was drunk with the spirit of prayer. Words were not coming out. Hata Eli alipo muona alisema huyu ni mlevi. Why? Because she was drunk with the spirit of prayer. She was drunk with the spirit of intercession. Can you be lost in the place of prayer? Ya kwamba hata hujui wakati ukienda. Some of us when we pray, we are very conscious. Raba raba shaka raba ganda. Unaangalia saa unaona ni dakika tatu tu zimeenda. Yaani mpaka unauliza hii saa haiendi mpaka unaangalia ile muti ya seconds unaona na kweli inaenda. Because you are very conscious, the spirit of prayer haijakuja juu yako. You are not drunk with the spirit of prayer. You are very conscious about time. When you get into the depth of prayer, time is not an issue. You forget. You can pray for six hours. You can pray for 12 hours. Because when you get into the deep of prayer, you are out of the fresh. When you are so much in the fresh, time is an issue. But when you go into the deep, time is not an issue. Praise the name of the living God. The scene of prayerlessness is the greatest sin in the church today. And let me tell you, the enemy wants to put the church into a time of sleeping so that he can do what he wants to do. But we are here to say no in Jesus' name. Adui angetaka kanisa lilale diyo wakati huu aweze kufanya kiri ambacho anataka. Lakini tuko hapa kusema ya kwamba the church is not going to sleep in Jesus' name. Somebody must wake up and call upon the name of the Lord. Somebody must wake up and receive the spirit of prayer and pray like never before. Somebody must purpose in their heart that I'm going to give God quality time and I'm going to launch into the deep of prayer like never before. Wakati umelala, diyo adui upata na fasi ya kuharibu jami yako. Wakati umelala, diyo adui upata na fasi ya kuharibu kila kitu. Begu mbaya zinapandwa. Maovu mengi tunayo yaona hayange tokea. Kama tungekua tunaomba, vile tunapaswa kuomba. You need time with God. Even if you are a business person, even if you are in any career, you need time with God. Promotion does not come from the east or from the west. It comes from the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the law. Unaweza kuwa umeandaa farasi, uko na gari nzuri ya biashara, uko na duka, iko na stock. 
umeandaa farasi but you need God watoto wameenda shule nzuri na uko na pesa ya karo unahitaji Mungu wanaweza enda shule nzuri wakakurudia wakiwa wameharibika kabisa you can prepare the horse but it is only God who can give you victory in this life don't be deceived usidanganyike usidanganyike our priorities must be light before god and god wants us to prioritize prayer it's for our own good it's for the good of our families our destiny it is for the good of this nation can we prioritize prayer from today can we give god time you have 24 hours every day why can't you spare an hour or two for god why should you have two or three hours for the tv but you cannot even get one hour for god the average prayer time for the christians is 5 minutes average to number 2 dakika 5 the average prayer time for pastors is 7 minutes wachungaji wanaomba dakika saba. washirika wanaomba dakika tano. Yesu akauliza, "Hamungeweza kuomba na mimi wana wa? Compare. Yesu anaongea juu ya wana wa ni kidogo sana. Sisi tunaomba dakika tano na dakika saba. Uniambie tunaenda wapi? Uniambie kama tutaondoka kwa zile shida tuko nazo kibinafsi na kama taifa. Moses alisema If I will not pray for you count me a sinner. Kwa sababu kuna maovu mengi yatakayofanyika mimi nikikosa kuomba. Kuna maovu mengi yanafanyika kwa sababu ya kukosa kuomba. There is a portfolio that you have been given by the kingdom of God. Praise the name of the living God. And there is a portfolio of being a prayerful woman, being a prayerful man so that you can be able to destroy the works of the enemy. The Bible says for this cause the son of God was manifested that he may destroy all the works of the enemy. The things we are seeing most of them they are the works of the devil. Praise the name of the living God. The sin of prayerlessness is the greatest sin that God is seeing in the church today the heavens is asking if only the church would pray bingu inauliza kama tu kanisa lingeomba but the church is too busy and that is why people have resorted to entertainment in the church there is so much entertainment but the house of god will be called the house of prayer praise the name of the living god this is a house of prayer for all nations praise the name of the, the living god may god restore the spirit of prayer upon the church may god restore the spirit of prayer in the name of jesus in his house that the house of god will be called the house of prayer For watching this program we know it has been a blessing to you we highly appreciate your prayers and support to get apostle john kimani's messages in its whole entirety call the numbers on your screen god bless you all the days of my life i want to gaze upon your beauty